So after a tough loss against Jordan Thompson in Brisbane, Rafa Nadal has a bit of an injury concern going into the Australian Open. It is the hip again. He did get some treatment during the match in Brisbane against Thompson in the final set after about three hours of play. Let's go have a listen to what Rafa had to say in the press conference and about the injury itself and if it is a concern. So this is what Rafa had to say in the press conference following his loss. It's a very similar place to what happened last year, but different stuff, no? I feel more muscle. Last year was tendon. I feel the muscle tired. I mean, for sure, it's not the same like last year at all. Because when it happened last year, I felt something drastic immediately. Today, I didn't feel anything. The only problem is because the place is the same, you're a little bit more scared than usual. In ideal world, it's just the muscle supercharged after a few days of effort and a very tough match. That will be the ideal thing. Something that we know that can happen today. That is why I'm talking all the time that my goal is to try to be competitive in a few months. I mean, from this perspective, you don't know all the information that I have. From that perspective, the only thing that probably you see is I have been playing very well the last two matches. It's true, I have been playing well. A lot of things can be happening in a body, like my body after a year without playing tennis. So hopefully it's just that, just a muscle that is supercharged. It's a normal process on that. If that's the thing, everything's perfect. As I said, I didn't come here to win the tournament now. I just came here to try to come back and do it in a positive way. It was a very positive way. Then let's see. I really hope if the feeling on the leg is better and better tomorrow and after tomorrow, then it's perfect news. If not, as I said, we're going to do a test and let's see. So there you go, Rafa explaining what happened at, uh, at the medical timeout that he had at about 4-1 in that third set after about three hours. And it was a long, long match as well. The first long match he's played in his comeback, of course. First match, second match, he won in straight sets. Third match, he had match points, went to a third set. Thompson with a great win. But man, Rafa, I mean, he's, he's put him under paces. That's the first time he's actually had to put his hip under any sort of pressure like that. What do you think? Do you think Rafa's gonna be good for the Australian Open? Let me know down in the comments below. Do you think he's gonna be successful at the Australian Open? Because a lot of people maybe have doubts now that Rafa's gonna go on and make the second week. It depends on the draw, really, doesn't it? If he's going to be unseated, if he plays Alcaraz in the second round, look, Alcaraz is going to win. I think we can all agree on that. But Rafa, a little bit of an injury concern going into the Australian Open after another hip complaint during the final set of his match against Thompson.